Hello and welcome to Worship with St James Bolton for this Sunday the 25th of April 2021. Welcome. Whether you're joining on Sunday morning or at another time, you're very welcome. Uh, this will be a service of the word. We've also got a service uh, this coming Sunday in the church building when I'll be baptising uh, Stanley, Stanley Kelly Pearman, and I'll refer to that during the talk this morning. Let's, uh, let's begin with the word of welcome. Let us worship God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. This is the day which the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. And do join in the prayer that should be on the screen. Lord, direct our thoughts and teach us to pray. Lift up our hearts to worship you in spirit and in truth, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. They'll now follow a song uh, to worship God, so do join in. The words will be on the screen. Thank you. 
as always, when we come together, whether in person or online, it's good for us to come before God and ask for his forgiveness. And he, he, he's ready to forgive when we turn to him. When I say the words, Father, forgive us, would you respond, save us and help us? Let's pray. God, our Father, we come to you in sorrow for our sins, for turning away from you and ignoring your will for our lives. Father, forgive us, save us and help us. For behaving just as we wish, without thinking of you, Father, forgive us, save us and help us. For failing you by what we do and think and say, Father, forgive us, save us and help us. For letting ourselves be drawn away from you by temptations in the world about us, Father, forgive us, save us and help us. For living as if we were ashamed to belong to your Son, Father, forgive us, save us and help us. May the God of love and power forgive you and free you from your sins, heal and strengthen you by his Spirit and raise you to new life in Christ our Lord. Amen. We'll now have our Bible readings and if you want to follow along with your Bible, the first one's from uh, the book of Acts chapter 4 and verses 5 to 12. Acts chapter 4 verses 5 to 12. And this uh, passage comes uh, after Peter and John have healed a, a man who, who couldn't walk. Verse 5. The next day the rulers, elders and teachers of the law met in Jerusalem. Annas, the high priest, was there and so were Caiaphas, John, Alexander and the other men of the high priest's family. They had Peter and John brought before them and began to question them. By what power or what name did you do or, or what name did you do this? Then Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, said to them, Rulers and elders of the people, if we were being called to account today for an act of kindness shown to a cripple and are asked how he was healed, then know this, you and all the people of Israel. It is by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth whom you crucified, but whom God raised from the dead, that this man stands before you healed. He is the stone the builders rejected, which has become the capstone. Salvation is found in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given to men by which we must be saved. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And our gospel reading today is John chapter 10, and I'm beginning to read at verse 10b. John chapter 10, verse 10b. Jesus said, I have come that they may have life and have it to the full. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. The hired hand is not the shepherd who owns the sheep. So he sees, he sees the wolf coming. He abandons the sheep and runs away. Then the wolf attacks the flock and scatters it. The man runs away because he, he is a hired hand and cares nothing for the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know my sheep and my sheep know me, just as the Father knows me and I know the Father. And I lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep that are not of this sheep pen. I must bring them also. They too will listen to my voice. And there shall be one flock and one shepherd. The reason my father loves me is that I lay down my life only to take it up again. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down of my own accord. I have authority to lay it down and authority to take it up. This command I received from my father. This is the gospel of Christ. Praise to you, O Lord. 
So, as I was saying, this Sunday at St. James, I'm privileged to uh, be baptising a child. And it's really special for this reason. When I first came to St. James back in 2013, the first baptisms I did were for Callum and Connor, who just so happened to be the older brothers of Stanley, who will, who will be the, the last baptism I do as vicar here on Sunday the 25th of April. So this family have accompanied, accompanied me, that's hard to say, accompanied me on my journey at St James. Today I ask a question, what's in a name? Well the name Stanley is of Old English origin and it means stone clearing. It was first used as a place name. So you can go to the town of Stanley in County Durham or the village of Stanley near Wakefield. Stanley was then used as a surname before being used as a first name. Now there's been lots of famous Stanleys like Stan Laurel, one of the funniest comedians ever, or indeed Stanley Matthews, one of the greatest footballers ever. In the service, I baptised Stanley in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. In the name of. This implies a sense of authority and association. Here's a few examples of how we might use in the name of. I arrest you in the name of the law. <laughs> Stop in the name of love, as Diana Ross sang. In the name of the Queen, you must pay your taxes. <laughs> uh, now, God has authority over all things. So, when we use his name, it really matters. And Stanley, uh, your baptism on Sunday is a sign of your association with God. A sign that God loves Stanley and calls him to be part of God's family. In our reading from Acts today, we heard about St. Peter and St. John. And they've got into trouble. Something I'm sure uh, never happens to Stanley. Why were Peter and John in trouble? They had prayed for a sick man in the name of Jesus and the man was healed. He went jumping and leaping and praising God as the song goes. That's a weird thing to be in trouble about, isn't it? Sometimes we, like them, find ourselves in trouble, not because we've done something wrong, but because we've done something right. The religious leaders felt threatened and so they brought Peter and John before them. They asked, by what power or what name did you do this? Acts chapter 4 verse 7. Peter replied, it is by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom you crucified, but whom God raised from the dead, that this man stands before you healed. Verse 10. Wow, what a powerful name it is, the name of Jesus. Be careful how you, you use this name, the name of Jesus, not as a swear word or to express frustration, as we sometimes hear. Instead, use the name of Jesus to bless others. Jesus tells us, for where two or three gather in my name, there am I with them. Matthew, 20, uh, Matthew 18 verse 20. And he also tells us that when we pray in his name, our prayers will be answered. See um, John chapter 14 verse 13 to 14. And last week in, uh, in the sermon, Sarah Maybury um, 
gave us some examples, didn't she, of, uh, of prayers being answered when prayed in Jesus' name. Uh, she told about a lost glove and about a sick child experiencing healing. It's a beautiful name, the name of Jesus. Peter tells his accusers, salvation is found in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given to men by which we must be saved. Acts 4 verse 12. Salvation isn't really a word we use in everyday language, so let me explain. It carries the meaning of rescue, of forgiveness, of restoration, of restoring what's broken. And in baptism, it speaks of bringing people into a place where they're loved, forgiven, called and given purpose, brought into the family of God. We read in Philippians chapter 2 verse 9 that Jesus was given the name which is above every name. He was given this name by his father God. After he'd lived, suffered, died and then been raised back to life. That's why the name of Jesus has such meaning and such power because of what Jesus did. Stanley's life is stretched out before him. We don't know what he'll go on to do, nor the places he'll go to or the people he'll meet. Is he a funny guy like Stan Laurel? Will he become a great footballer like Stanley Matthews? We don't know, but we pray for him and we pray in the name of Jesus that he and all his family will remember this day when he was baptised in the name of Jesus. May it remind all of you to pray for Stanley in the name of Jesus. Pray that Stanley may know so much blessing from God and find that his life becomes a blessing to so many others. Jesus says to us, I have come that you may have life and have it to the full. John chapter 10 verse 10. He loves us so much, willing to give everything for us, even laying down his life for us, as we read in John 10 verse 14 and verse 17. Just to close, I expect most of us have a mobile phone. Lots of us are on social media apps like Facebook or Instagram or Twitter. And on these platforms, we can follow all sorts of people. We can follow them to see what they're up to, what they think or what they're wearing, uh, where they're going to, who they're mixing with, all sorts of things. In fact, it all becomes a bit boring after a while. So today, why not follow someone who's really worth following? Follow Jesus, not by scrolling through your phone, but by following him with the whole of your life. Decide to follow Jesus today. He'll never let you down. Amen. We're going to have... Uh, another song about which we'll worship God. The words will be on the screen, so do join in. You were the word at the beginning One with God, the Lord most high You're hidden Nothing compares to this 
session which will, we will be uh, close with the the lord's prayer 
Let us pray. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you that you know each one of us by name, that you know Stanley just as well as you know Steve, that each of us are precious and special to you, and you have known each one of us since the beginning of time. We thank you so much for Stanley and his family, for who he is and who he will be, his special characteristics, his individuality, that he is unique and you have a plan for his life, as you have a plan for all our lives. Please help each one of us to realise and discover the plans you have for us, to listen and watch for your guidance, to follow your example and to love each other beyond measure. Amen. We pray for our community, for the church, as it moves towards a time of uncertainty. We ask that everyone will work together and support each other, especially those stepping up to do new things. We pray for those that have so far lacked the confidence or willingness to play their part, and we ask that we would all examine our hearts and seek your will. We pray for the St James Community Partnership as it seeks to develop more ideas and initiatives for the community. We thank you for all those people who have stepped up to move this on. We pray for Peel Park and the Friends of Peel Park, we thank you for the beauty of the park and all the new equipment. Please keep it safe and well used and protect everyone as they enjoy the park. We pray especially today for the picnic that's going to happen in Pill Park after the service, that everyone would have a great time. Amen. We pray for Bradford as it continues to struggle with COVID-19. We pray that people will continue or even become better at following the guidance to keep each one safe and that people will read the right information when trying to discern true information about vaccine and COVID. We thank you that COVID rates in Bradford care homes have significantly reduced and we thank you especially for all the health and social care workers, the key workers and those from the voluntary sector who have continued to support everyone during the lockdowns. Give them resilience and patience. We pray for wisdom for those trying to keep people safe and we ask that you would help us all to be good neighbours. Amen. Lord Jesus, we pray for India and Brazil and other nations where COVID-19 is surging and death rates are soaring. We pray for those able to influence global equality, just practices and righteous decision making. We pray especially for those countries where vaccine confidence is so low and other countries that don't have the numbers of vaccines they need. Help us to remember that you know each one of us by name wherever we live, be that Chad or the Ashbourne estate. Forgive us that we forget the privilege of birth and that so many people just like us have nothing just because they happen to be born in an unstable country. We pray for displaced asylum seekers and refugees and we thank you that everyone on earth is precious in your sight. Be with us as we go into this next week and help us to follow you all the days of our lives, calling out your name and doing all we can. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And now just before our final a song I'm going to uh, give you give you some notices and uh, a final blessing so um, 
this coming Tuesday on the 27th of April at 7.30, uh, St. James has its annual meeting, it's APCM. Uh, now, because of uh, COVID restrictions, we're doing this online on the Zoom app. Um, and um, I'm sending the, the invite out on, uh, on by email. If you haven't got it, please just ask me for it. Um, if you haven't got the Zoom app, you can still join by um, using a mobile or, or a landline. Again, um, if you're not sure how to do that, just ask and I'll be able to tell you. Um, if you uh, would like a copy of the annual report, again, get in touch and ask me. I've sent out these by by email but if you if you really need so if, if you can cop, uh, print your own copy but if you can't then uh, just ask and I'll be able to get you a printed copy looking a bit uh, further forward um, ne uh, Sunday the 2nd of May uh, is service of Holy Communi Communion and it sadly is my uh, last service as vicar at St. James. Uh, we'll be looking at um, uh, two passages and we'll, ask, we'll think about how to remain in Jesus and to bear fruit. I hope you can, uh, can make it. Uh, from the 3rd of May to the 11th of July, I'll be on sabbatical. And uh, each Sunday we'll, uh, there'll be a service in St. James at 10.30. Most of the time we'll have a visiting clergy person and most of the services will be communion. Uh, the other service where we haven't got a visitor will be, uh, will be led brilliantly, I'm sure. They'll be led by uh, either our readers, uh, our la licensed lay ministers, as we, as we call them now, and our lay worship leaders. I think that's all the notices I need to give. Um, just just a, a final notice actually. Um, at the APCM, John Pilgrim is stepping down as church treasurer. And he's been doing that role for a long time. Sorry, I can't just remember off the top of my head how long. I think it's 12 years, but it might be longer. Um, so um, we do thank John so much for, for his service to us. Uh, he'll be, he's going to be uh, replaced, if that's the right word, by Jenny Medley, who'll become our treasurer at the, uh, at the annual meeting. So uh, that's enough from me. Uh, we're going to have our, our final uh, song of worship, the words will be on the screen, and uh, just before I go... I'm going to give a blessing. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessing, honour and glory be yours, here and everywhere, now and forever. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep our hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit, be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen. Hey! Hello! We were hoping that we'd be sending this video from Brazil. Sadly, we're not there. We're still here in the UK. Um, our visas were uh, approved earlier this year, so we did book flights to go back to Recife on the 29th of March. Um, we got down to Heathrow, we'd said all our goodbyes, we had everything in order, um, but sadly we, we actually weren't allowed to fly once we'd reached the airport. Yeah, so as you can imagine we were fairly gutted. Um, mm. There were two main reasons really why we couldn't fly, why, why the airline weren't happy for us to go. Um, the first being that the Brazilian on, um, visa system all went online last year and so our visas aren't actually in our passports, they're online and the airline weren't able to access them. So 
bureaucracy really um, and the second reason is because of the situation in Brazil with Covid um, there are lots of restrictions in place so they really needed to see that our visa allowed us to fly which we are allowed to we are exempt in their, their list of exemptions um, but we're now in the process of trying to find a way to show them that our, our visa is um, is legitimate and we're able to fly which um, they couldn't see so a little bit complicated but um but yeah we we're here for now we're back we're back in Leeds as Stu says yeah and actually we've been really fortunate really blessed with an opportunity to work at a food bank uh, where we're volunteering at the moment and through that um, we've been able to have our first vaccination mm. um, those working in uh, food banks and similar projects um, are classed as frontline workers and so for that reason we've had the opportunity to get our first vaccination yeah and we do feel really grateful to have the opportunity to volunteer there um, it's really good experience different to the junk food project that we were helping with um, here in Leeds before we flew um, and we, we think that we can see how both could really contribute to the learning of how we set up a food waste project when we get out to Hasife. Um, so it wasn't part of our plan but we can see that it's all part of his. Yeah, yeah and as for Revive, uh, things are still going well out there, the girls are uh, doing okay. Um, mm. Schools still aren't open so um, all the house mums are doing a really great job of um, keeping the girls both entertained but also educating them in uh, whatever way they can with various activities. Um, we are also taking on uh, a new employee um, mm. who's a really great asset. He's um, going to be working with um, us as well as other employees at Revive to expand the work um, that they're doing. Um, branching out into fostering service, uh, community work and the food project. Yeah, um, and as we mentioned before, Brazil um, really has been hit hard by Covid. Um, it's very complicated, but it doesn't seem the government is doing enough to, to combat um, the situation. And um, yeah, we do know various friends um, through church, through um, neighbours, we know people that have um, been hospitalised but also um, have sadly died mm -hmm. um, and it does feel very close to home, very very real um, and personal which I think makes the, the going back um, all the, or the not being able to go back all the harder because we'd like to be there to support our friends um, and yet also um, it's a global pandemic and being there to support them isn't always quite that straightforward when you're supposed to socially distance and all the rest. So um, please please pray for how we can support them as best we can from afar. Um, and of course, please do pray for Brazil as a country, for the government, mm. for the, the, the people, for the healthcare workers, um, those that live in the favelas in the very poor communities where sanitation is, um, is really hard to come by. Um, and yeah, and I, th I think you may have seen, but actually it seems to be hitting younger people um, more there. And some of the sad situations that, we're, that we know of um, through friends have affected young parents and, and children are being, have been left without a mother or a father. Um, so please pray for those children too. So yeah, thank you for all your support um, and all your prayers over... This last year, um, which looked very different than from what we expected, um, please do continue to pray. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Oh,